Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be talking about Siamese fighting fish. If you want to learn more facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Siamese fighting fish, who are also known as beta fish, are just one species of the genus beta. While there are more than 70 species of fish belonging to this genus, today we'll be focusing on probably the most well-known species, beta splendens. These fish are those colorful little gems you might find in your local pet store, though they weren't always this way. Wild Siamese fighting fish appear muddy brown to olive green in color, and really only display those flashy hues when they feel threatened or to attract a mate. In the 1800s, Siamese fighting fish were bred for their namesake. The trend would be to figure out which had the bravest fish, because, though betas do fight aggressively, they don't usually duke it out until the death. Most battles between betas end with one opponent's surrender to the victor. So the battles weren't decided by death, although that did occur from time to time, but rather by submission. Over time, the practice of breeding Siamese fighting fish for aggression developed into breeding fish for color variants. Those who bred betas figured out how to make their brilliant colors remain permanent, and now they come in just about every color under the sun. In the wild, Siamese fighting fish can be found natively in Southeast Asia, including Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. They are also considered an invasive species in many other parts of the world, such as Australia and the United States. It's likely these invaders find their genesis through the pet trade. Siamese fighting fish live in slow, flowing waters such as rice paddies and water canals. Where they natively occur, these watery homes can dry up to near non-existence during dry months which has caused the development of the labyrinth organ in these fighting fish. The labyrinth organ allows a Siamese fighting fish to breathe in oxygen directly from the air. There are reports of pet Siamese fighting fish jumping out of their tanks and surviving more than 24 hours. They jump in captivity because in the wild they jump between puddles of standing water during drier months, when water levels would otherwise be fatal to other fish. They're scrappy little guys, that's for sure. They eat insects, insect larvae, and algae. However, because they don't usually grow more than 3 inches in length, they land pretty low on the food chain. While they are quite aggressive towards one another, especially males, they are able to keep calm enough to procreate. Males will build bubble nests, and when a female seems interested enough, they'll mate. During the process, as the female releases eggs, the male will carry them in his mouth and blow them up into his bubble nest. The process can get pretty intense, so the female will usually hightail it afterwards, leaving the male to take care of the young. They'll usually hatch within 48 hours and be fully developed after around half a year. In the wild, it's pretty common for a Siamese fighting fish to live up to two years, but they've been recorded living anywhere up to five or more in captivity. Some other fish in the genus Beta are listed as endangered species, and something I found odd in doing research on these colorful critters is that the IUNC Red List of Threatened Species actually lists Beta splendens as a vulnerable species in the wild. They're impacted not just by the pet trade, but also habitat loss. It seems kind of bizarre to me that one of the most commonly kept pet fish is vulnerable in the wild. Here's to hoping that's a fight that all Beta splendens can win. For more facts on Siamese fighting fish, check out the links in the description. Let us know if you have an animal to suggest in the comments. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact